so as you guys can see i'm playing new super mario bros 2 on my android phone using an emulator called lemonade well most of you guys are asking what is lemonade lemonade is an emulator that lets you play nintendo 3ds games on your smartphone and today um we are going to look at the latest release version of the lemonade emulator okay so now let's dive in and see what the latest version of the emulator brings or what are the fixes of the emulator so with the latest version that is alpha 2.1 they have fixed a lot of bugs in this version so meaning those of you who were having bugs on the later build will now have some kind of bug that you faced so um i'll be working or i'll be showing you guys on how to download and extract the emulator or download and install the emulator on your mobile devices so without much ado let's download the emulator i mean let's download the android version of the emulator so let's select on this as you can see it says android dot apk it's a zip file so let's try and download it this is the android version so when you get to this place i mean at the website just click on it and download the emulator so now let's download it and install it on our android phone and see the kind of performance that we will get so after we are done downloading the emulator it comes as in the form of zip file so we will need to extract it and to do that we will use z achiever now when you locate the file this is the file the file that we downloaded this is the file you press on it and you select on extract to achieve name you select on this one the one that i've, I've circled so after the extraction locate the folder that you extracted the the apk file in open the folder now you will see the um release of the app or you see the lemonade app just press on it and install the app okay so at this stage you select install just install the app okay so after so after the app has been installed let's walk through let me walk you through and set the emulator first of all it says welcome just press on next this one to microphone just press on next because you need it camera to just press on next now it says select user folder now with the user folder press on it and select or create a folder that you you use it as your 3ds roms or 3ds file so at this stage i created a folder named 3ds and inside that 3ds i have my files like the games or the roms and some settings so i will choose that folder the folder called 3ds so i will choose that folder and then um i will select lemonade because lemonade is not the only emulator that is on my android phone so with that one too i created another folder called lemonade so i will select lemonade folder and then i will select on allow okay so press ok then press next okay now this this simply means games you have to set the folder that contains our games so here press on add games and then locate the folder that contains your games so um at this stage my games are in my internal storage then in the folder called 3ds as you can see the 3ds folder is over there so um 
I will need to open the 3DS folder and then I will open Lemonade because um, I'm using Lemonade emulators now. So I will open Lemonade and then choose the ROM because my games are in the ROM folder. So I will choose this one. I will choose the ROM and then I will select allow allow access to ROM. As you can see, I have Super Mario Bros. games. Super Mario Bros. games in the folder. So here I will choose allow access to folder and then press on allow and then hit next. Done. Continue. So as you can see, I have the games over here. So if you have more games, it's supposed to show. Okay, now at this stage, level the settings. So head over to the settings. And then you select on general limit speed. You can en either enable, enable it or disable it. Then come back, you select on graphics. Then you change it from OpenGL. Listen, you change it from OpenGL to Vulkan. The one that has been marked. You select that one. You change it from OpenGL to Vulkan. And then you follow the settings that is here. Just do the same thing to your internal resolution. Change it to 3. If you have a powerful device, you can set it to 4. But I have a low spec device, so I'll change the internal resolution to 3. Dix shaders cake, just press on. The debug, just let the new 3ds mode. With the CPU clock, you can set it to 100 or you can set it to either between 100 and 150. Disable VSync. That one, we don't need it. Just disable, disable it. Okay, so I think that's all. So let's try some game.
Woohoo! <laughs>